We're going to take a look at the Gale databases in this tutorial video. The Gale databases don't have as much content as the EBSCO, however, they still have excellent, excellent information. We will look at search tips and filters. Uh, Gale is a little bit easier to search because it's not quite as robust as EBSCO, but still very user friendly. We're going to look at how to export the citations how to get the bookmark, which is a true URL, and of course printing and emailing. We'll focus on Gale Opposing Viewpoints, Gale Virtual Reference Library, Gale Student Resources in Context, and Gale Science in Context for this assignment. However, we're also trialing another Gale database right now, Gale Global Issues and Context, and we'll uh, spend a little bit of time um, in that. Like the EBSCO databases, the Gale search interface is pretty much identical um, from one database to another. The main difference, again, is the types of publications that it searches and the types of content. We also see that some of the Gale databases have a very specific focus, like science, uh, with science and context, student resources and context, and opposing viewpoints are more multi-subject area types of databases, so they cover a lot of different topics. They're also both very good for current events. Gale Virtual Reference Library is all ebooks and nonfiction books. This can be great for both historical or current events. And again, um, you might want to explore at least two of the Gale databases today. They're super easy to use and search, so let's take a look. Within our group that we've set up in Mackin for you, you can see that all of the Gale databases are grouped together. Remember that because Global Issues and Context is on trial right now, we will access it through a separate link, and I'll show you where that is on the research guide in just a minute. Again, the search interface for the in-context databases is identical, so we'll take a quick look um, at one of those. We'll also take a quick tour of GVRL. It's very similar to the in-context, but because it's searching ebooks and um, that content, the search interface is just a slightly different. And then we'll end our tour with the global issues and context. So let's take a look at opposing viewpoints. All of the Gale databases have a simple search tool that you can use, but you can also browse by issue or topic. So if you want to do um, a quick search, then you can use the search bar up here at the top, or you can browse the alphabetical listing of topic guides, or in this case, issue guides. You'll also notice that you can look at topics by broad category and to see all of those you could go to view all but again if you want to see everything that's available then you can go to browse issues so let's look at looking um, searching by topic or issue and then we'll also do a quick search so we could go through and see what might be available they are listed alphabetically so we can see what um, you can look up here in these databases. I notice that in skimming and scanning the list of topics, I don't see one specifically on child trafficking, but if I go down to human trafficking, I could still probably use this as a good starting point. So if there is a topic or an issue guide available within any of the Gale databases, they always begin with an overview and a quick snapshot of the different types of informational articles or resources available. Over here, it tells me there are six viewpoint of essays that are featured with a total of 51 viewpoint essays. So these would be different perspectives and opinions that have been written on the topic, but with a scholarly sort of um, background. We have statistical data, images, reference, which would be encyclopedias or book chapters. We also have a lot of magazine articles, podcasts, lots of news articles, not as many academic journals, but those could still be helpful. And then videos and primary sources. And then we could also look at related topics that might be worth investigating or you may not choose to. 
So the topic overview here is, again, kind of like a condensed Wikipedia article. So they'll give you kind of a quick snapshot of what that issue is about. And then again, I can go back. And now I can begin drilling down into the different um, informational articles that are available. So you could browse by category here, and you'll click on the bold heading to see everything that is available. So maybe I want to focus on magazines, and it'll take me there. And when I see something that looks like it might be of interest to me, I can click on it. Some of these will be brief articles. Others will be a little bit longer, and again, you kind of get a quick description of what that um, article is about. So I'm going to just click on this one, and the toolbox um, that I want to use is over here on the right. The full text article is on the left. So if I want to cite it and add it to my Easy Bib list, again, make sure that your bibliography is open and then go to Citation Tools. And all you have to do is press the Easy Bib button. So I'm going to do that underneath the Citation Tools export. And right away, there is my entry. And again, you can double check your APA rules to make sure that it has been capitalized correctly. Gale databases normally do a very good job of following the APA format, so sometimes there's not as much cleanup involved with that as you might see in the EBSCO for APA. You can close that. If you want to email the article, download or print it, you can do that. You can go through and highlight um, text if you want to do that. Just be aware that if you are highlighting text or taking even notes here, and this is my little toolbar, they are only saved for that session. So they won't be there when you get back. Um, if you want to go and look at your highlights and notes, you go to more at the top, and then you can see that. Of course, you could always email to yourself, download and copy and paste it into Google Docs or Microsoft Word, whatever um, you want to do. Um, but that is something that sometimes people want to use. Um, they, again, they'll have related subjects if you want to use those. And then again, you could go back to your results and continue browsing. Or again, you can look under everything. And if you decide you don't like the uh, magazine articles and you want some academic journals instead, or you want to go to the viewpoint essays, then again, they give you easy navigation to go through and see what is available. So that's pretty handy. Again, you could just do a straight search if you don't want to use the topic or issue guides. And again, it's the same kind of principle. We get all of our results here, and then we could go through and take a look at what's available. Again, what you find in each of the Gale databases is going to look a little bit different. Um, Gale Student Resources and Context has access to the most. You might want to begin with that and then wind your way to the other Gale databases. Gale Virtual Reference Library is a Gale database, but it's a little bit different because it's only ebooks. However, the toolbar is the same, but I do want to show you just very quickly the search interface. So here, we could go through and browse books by category, but most of us just begin searching by keyword. So again, for some topics you will find more on, others you may not find as much. Again, it just really kind of depends on the topic because we have lots of different books, and obviously for some um, subjects we have more than others. If you don't find anything here, that's fine, but if you do see something you like, then you can click on that article. In this case, this is a reference article, so it's definitely a scholarly academic source. And again, our toolbar is over here, just like we saw with the Gale and Context databases. And again, if you want to add it to your EasyBib list, don't copy and paste. Just click on EasyBib. And again, make sure your bibliography is open and you're good to go. And there's my entry. On our research guide, there's a fourth box near the bottom. It's beneath our Mac and Via group box or links. And again, we are on trial with this for a couple more weeks. So you might want to give global issues and contacts a try. 
To access the trial to Gale Global Issues and Context, you will click on the link. And when you get to this page, you will click Access the Trial. This will give you access without a password um, to this database. So it works pretty much the same way as the other in context databases. Again, you kind of have topic guides by subject area, so you can search that way. You can also go to browse issues and topics, and you can either browse again by category, or if there's a particular region of the world that you want to focus on, then you could go and browse um, by country or region, and then topics below. So a lot of people um, like to search by regions, or again, you could always go to um, the issues. Um, if you don't see, again, a topic guide that's the exact fit for what you want, here I see human trafficking, and I could go to that. Um, again, just like we did in opposing viewpoints and contacts, we could always go and do a more specific search. But as you can see, this is going to work pretty much the same way as the other in context databases. We have the overview, and again this is pretty recent, 2015, so they update this database daily, which is nice. Our toolbox is here, as you can see. It's going to look a little bit different, um, but pretty much the same tools. Just as we saw in our um, other Gale databases, if we want the true link back to an article, we look for the bookmark that we can copy and paste, or we can email if we're given that option. Um, you'll look for that. That will get you back into that database. If you want to add it to EasyBim, you can click on Citation Tools, and again, you're just going to export it. And again, you can see right there, it has been added. So um, you might want to give this database a try, and we'd love to hear what you think um, and get your feedback if you think it's a worthwhile resource. Again, the Gale databases um, are a little bit easier to search. Um, they're not quite as robust and don't have quite as much content as the EBSCO but they could also be a very um, helpful resource for you depending on your topic. Again, every database is like a little library and there are, you know, some, every database has different categories and types of publications. So some may be more helpful for certain topics than others. That's why we want to encourage you to play around and explore as many as you can um, within our Mac and Via group and of course our Global Issues Trial so that you can get a nice uh, sampler of resources. That's our video tutorial on our Gale databases.